this video, we're gonna look at the priorities when drawing blood cultures. Now, specifically in the blood drawing lesson, we talked about how to do a venipuncture. One of the most important things you need to take from that lesson, though, is when you're drawing blood for cultures, you must scrub the site with an antiseptic scrub for a full minute. The number one source of contamination in blood cultures is bacteria found on the skin. So you've gotta make sure that you're getting it nice and clean. So go back and watch that video if you need to. But right now we're gonna talk specifically about how to get the blood into the blood culture bottles appropriately. Now in school they'll tell you something like, pink then green because ladies first, or something that they want you to memorize. Well, you guys know we're not all about that. We want you to understand the why behind the what to know which bottle to do first. Now remember with blood cultures, you're going to have two separate bottles that you need to use. One of those bottles is going to be an anaerobic bottle for bacteria that can't survive in air. And the other one is going to be for aerobic, which is bacteria that can survive in air. So when you're thinking about which bottle to do first, always think about where the air is. So if you're using a butterfly needle like this and you're gonna insert it into the patient's arm and then directly into the tube, all of that air is gonna go right into the bottle. So aerobic bottle for bacteria that can't survive in air. And the other one is going to be for aerobic, which is bacteria that can survive in air. So when you're thinking about which bottle to do first, always think about where the air is. So if you're using a butterfly needle like this and you're gonna insert it into the patient's arm and then directly into the tube, all of that air is gonna go right into the bottle. So so that the air bubble goes into the right bottle, okay? So let's show you what this looks like with the syringe. You really only need five mils of blood in each bottle, so if you have a syringe with 10 mils of blood, you're gonna split it between the two. But that vacuum can be super strong, so just watch closely. First thing you wanna do is take the caps off of both blood culture bottles and use a separate alcohol pad to clean each bottle. You wanna usually scrub for 10 to 15 seconds per bottle, again, with their own alcohol scrub so that you don't contaminate. Then purge any air out of the needle just until you see a drop of blood at the end. And then you're gonna insert the syringe into the anaerobic bottle first. Once about five mils drops in, pull it straight out of the bottle and insert directly into the other bottle without touching the needle and just let the rest of the blood go into that bottle. When you're done, you want to carefully uh, place the syringe directly into a sharps container, or you can safely recap uh, and put that into the sharps container later. When you draw blood cultures, you're gonna be using two different sites, usually from opposite arms. So when you label the bottles, you put the patient information, time, date, and initials, but you also put the location you drew the blood from, like right arm or left AC. Just don't ever draw cultures out of a line unless you have an order to do so. Then you can bag them up, send them to the lab, and you'll get preliminary results in about 24 hours. So I hope this was helpful for you guys when it comes to blood cultures. Again, make sure that you check out the drawing blood video to learn about venipuncture. And remember with blood cultures, we're trying to avoid cross-contamination at all costs. So clean the site really, really well. Don't touch the site before you stick and clean the tops of the bottles with their own alcohol scrub. And of course, make sure that you don't put air into the anaerobic bottle or you're gonna kill all the bacteria. All right, we love you guys. Go out and be your best selves today. And as always, happy nursing. Thanks for watching another nursing.com lesson. Click the link below in the description to watch thousands more lessons over on nursing.com. Also, be sure to hit the subscribe and the little bell to make sure you're reminded when new lessons come out. And if you wanna just keep watching more lessons, go ahead and click this video over here to continue learning. Like we always say here at nursing.com, happy nursing.